Okay, so in the earlier video we have talked about we can have different types of data in an array, right? There's no restrictions here. In this video, let's try to use some methods of an array. One of it we have already seen, which is push. Let's try to explore the other ones. So what I will do now is let me remove this part. We don't need that. And let's simplify this so that we can understand the methods. So let's go with the normal values, which is this. So let's say we have five, seven, eight, and nine. And here I just want to use certain methods. And then we have already seen one, which is push. But then what happens with when you do push? So let me also print because push returns something, right? Uh, so what I will do is, of course, I will push the value. And let's say I want to push a value which is two, but I want to understand what happens when you push and uh, what it returns. So let's run this code and let's see what happens. And here, and you can see we got two things. We got five and we got the value at the end. Now why we got two at the end is because we are saying push. Now what push will do is it will add a element at the end of the array. So basically it appends, right? So that's what we can use. So what is this five here? So this five is actually the length of the array. So after five, seven, eight, nine, and then it is adding two. So it is your five, right? So that's the length. The other method we have here is pop. Uh, let's try pop and let's see what happens when you do pop. So we'll just go back here and log. Now, if you know the concept of stack, which is last in first out, whichever element you add last will be the first to remove. Okay, so we'll say data dot, I will say pop. Now, if you don't know about stack, go through it. Just Google what is stack and you'll understand that. So what we are doing is we are pushing the value, which is two, right? So two is going at the end. What will happen when you say pop? It's on this code and you can see it says two. Now, what is this two here? So it will remove the last element. So whichever element you added at the end will be the first to remove. Okay, uh, let's say if I don't say push here, if I just say pop, uh, it will remove nine. So that's the last element, right? So it always removes the last element. So it's remove five, it will also print which element it removed. So it will remove nine and it will also print which element it is removed, which is nine in this case. So we have talked about push, we have talked about pop. We have some two methods, in fact, three methods to talk about. So let me remove uh, this one. So the other method we have is shift. So let me say data dot shift and let me shift. Now what happens when you say shift? So when you say pop, it removes the data from the last, right? So shift will remove the data from the first. Basically it shifts all the values, okay? Uh, so all this value, which is seven, eight, nine will be pushed to the left hand side. So basically it will throw five out of the array. And when you run this code and you can see it is removing five. So shift will push all the elements on the left hand side and it will remove five. Okay, so that's shift, right? So the difference between pop and shift is pop will remove from the end and shift will remove from the start. Okay, so when you have pop, you also have push, right? So when you have shift, you should have something called unshift. That's right. So using unshift, you can actually add an element. So let's say I want to add two. Now, where do you think this two will be added? So I, I want to know in the comment section, when I do this, you tell me where this two will be added. Uh, let's try now. So I hope you added your answer in the comment section. Let's try. And you can see it is printing two at the start. Of course, right? When you say shift, it removes the value from the beginning. So when you say unshift, it will add a new value to the beginning. Now, which is better? The only problem is when you say unshift, it moves all the element on the right hand side, right? So it is changing the index number. So it's a lengthy process compared to push because push will add at the end. So it's better to use pop and push. It will not change the index number of the, all the elements. But yes, you can also use shift and shift. Cool. So these are the methods we can use here. Yeah, there's one more which is splice. Uh, what we can do here is let's remove this and let's use splice. So what it will do is you can mention the index numbers. What if you want to remove the element from between? Okay, let's say I don't want to remove from the first or last. Somewhere in between. Let me just add some more values just to understand. So let's say I want to remove from eight. Okay, so eight index value is three. Uh, not three, it's two, right? Uh, so let's only say two and let's see what happens. Okay, so it's breaking into two parts because it is removing everything. Oh, I said dot here. So okay, so when I say two, it will just remove the elements from two. So it will remove all the elements here. So basically, if it is breaking down, the only thing remaining is five and seven. You can see that. Okay, but then what if you want to remove only one element? In that case, you can give a comma and you can say one. Okay, so in this case, it will remove only one element, which is eight, right? So we have five, seven, nine, and four. What it is removing is only one value, okay? But what if you say two? So it will, from index number two, it will remove two elements, which is eight and nine. So the value you will be getting is five, seven, and four. 
Yeah, that's right. So you can you can see we got five, seven, four. So the first value here is the index value. The next one is the number of values you want to remove. So when you remove two elements, you can actually add some extra elements here. Uh, so we can give a comma. So you can see this is a syntax here. So we got a start, so the index value. Then the delete count, how many numbers you want to delete. And you can also add some values. Now this is the array again, we'll talk about it. So you can have multiple values here. Maybe you can add one value. So I want to add, let's say 11. So it will add 11 by removing uh, eight and nine. So you can see it is removing eight and nine, it is adding 11. You can add some more values, your choice. Maybe you are adding 15 as well. So it will add 11 and 15 in between. So you can see we got 11 and 15 in between. So yeah, you, that's how you can play around. And that's important to look at the documentations. In fact, if I say data.push, you can actually see how that method works. Uh, so it will give the definition, it can accept multiple values. Yeah, it, it actually uh, accept multiple values. I forgot to mention that. So instead of pushing one value, you can push multiple values. Try that out. Okay, cool. So that's how we can use all these methods. In the next video, we'll talk about how do we work with loops? What if I want to print all the values in the individual way? That will see in the next video. So I hope you are enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Mm -hmm.